Yesterday I said something I, I deeply regret. It was wrong, it was factually wrong, it's not what I believe. It was a heat of the moment, slip of the tongue, whatever you want to call it, but there's no excuses for it. I shouldn't have said it, and I want to say sorry to all those people, all those families that have been kind enough to share their experiences with me. Um, I want to say sorry to them because I didn't want to cause hurt or pain or distress to them in any way. And, and what I want to do is deliver for them, and I'm absolutely determined that I will do. Why did it take you 24 hours to apologise? Well, I came to the House of Commons and corrected the record uh, as soon as I could. Uh, and I also wanted to make a, an apology to the people that have been hurt, people from all communities, all parts of Northern Ireland. Uh, as I say, I had never intended to cause any hurt, but I make no excuses. Uh, I, I have, and I regret that, and I'm desperately sorry. Do you realise the significance of the timing of your comments, given the week we're facing into next week? I, the I, Sunday, it seems? Of course I recognise the significance. I recognise that a slip of the tongue at the wrong moment uh, has caused enormous distress, but I want to be very clear. I do not believe what I said. That is not my view. I believe that where crimes have happened, no matter who the perpetrator, they should be properly investigated by an independent authority and they should be prosecuted. And, and there's no excuse for anybody where a crime has been committed. And what about the families who, who just don't accept your apology, who come out today from Ballymurphy from Bloody Sunday and said, you still need to go? What do you say to them? Well, as I say, I, I want to work to rebuild their trust. I said something I shouldn't have done. Um, I, I will apologise and continue to apologise and I will uh, do so to people's faces or to the camera as, a, as appropriate. And I want to rebuild their trust by delivering for them, delivering a new legacy system that they can have confidence in, delivering something that works for everybody in Northern Ireland and allows Northern Ireland to try and, and heal some of those very deep wounds. Ab absolutely, um, I'm going to meet victims um, and families and ensure that I hear from as many people as possible. I have done so in the past, I continue to do so, and I will continue to do so. You're steering the ship, so to speak, in terms of trying to get this place stormed back up and running. Is that a tenable position for you to hold now, given the posi position the, um, the SDLP and Sinn Féin have adopted in terms of calling for your head? Well, as I say, I, I want to work to regain that trust. I, I said something I shouldn't have said. I said something in the heat of the moment, for which there is no excuse in, in a, in a pressurised situation that is not what I believe and is factually incorrect. I shouldn't have done it. It's caused hurt and I'm sorry for that. Do you retain the confidence of the Prime Minister? As I say, I want to get on, get this job done. I said something, people are fallible. We do, all of us, sometimes say things that we don't mean to say. We don't intend to say they are not correct. Um, I am determined to prove myself by delivering for the people of Northern Ireland. And there was some controversy earlier, or sorry, last year in terms of the comments you made to, to the House magazine. Now this, that has led to some people to, to question whether you're up to the job, whether you're out of your depth, are you out of your depth? As I say, we're all fallible. We all do things that we regret with hindsight. I deeply regret what I said yesterday. I deeply regret the hurt that's been caused. I deeply regret and say sorry to anybody who is suffering as a result of comments that I made that, as I say, I don't believe and are not my position and are not something that a fact, is not factually correct. Do you have confidence in yourself to continue in this role? Absolutely. I want to make sure I deliver for the people of Northern Ireland. So you'll be going anywhere in terms of that? Well, I'm going to keep delivering. I'm going to keep doing the right thing. I want to see devolution restored. I mean, yesterday I was taking bills through Parliament. I launched the legacy consultation because I so want to see this matter resolved. Uh, I want to see the city deals progress, including the city deal for Belfast and the city deal for Derry and Straban, which I want to see confirmed. So I want to work for the people of Northern Ireland. Uh, it is an enormous honour to be Secretary of State for Northern Ireland. It's an enormous honour to serve the people of Northern Ireland in government and it's something that I really want to deliver on.